Hello and welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about these cooler fans. Yes, these, because I have two of them. So stand, stay tuned for more. So, today I'll be talking about the server fans. Um, you're probably thinking right now, why do you have server cooling fans when you're a DJ? Well, I'm about to tell you why. Uh, so, basically, before I got them, I did a few gigs with my big rack, and inside my big rack, I've got uh, two EPX 4000s. Um, I have them running my tops, and then I change them over to running my basements. And both times when I had them at a certain volume, these amps would heat up. And so I thought, right, I'll try and cut back on tops and I'll cut back on low ends, I'll cut back on volume. Whatever I did would not help at all. So I decided to keep running these amps on my bass bins and uh, so I thought you know what I'll try them at an outdoor gig. Well, um, basically at this outdoor gig, um, I was running all four of my bass bins. Two of them were pretty much new anyway, um, and I wanted to, to break them in. So I thought, instead of running two subs per amp, I'd run four amps, no, four subs for one amp. At least I've got one, one amp as backup. So I thought, why not run them at 4 ohms at 800 watts per channel? So it gives me uh, 800 watts per channel, so basically 1600 watts RMS total power. And uh, during the night, I just Turn the volume up bit by bit, and uh, so and I thought, you know what? I'll just keep it at the limit, like what I was comfortable at. Where well, I normally do it on an indoor gig, and uh, this guy, son of the person who runs the event, said, "Turn it up." So I did. Turned up a little bit more. Kept turning back, turn up, turn up, turn up. So that that was the point. I thought, no, I'm gonna damage my speakers, damage my hands, and I won't be able to carry on. So I kept at the like 75% of my volume. Basically, well, oh, actually between 75 and 85% volume where I literally reached my top end of my comfort zone. Uh, my comfort zone is basically um, at least 25% volume, if not less, depending on the size of the room. Um, so I was basically pushing the sound envelope at 
around about 75 to 85 percent which is not normally what I do anyway um, so from that point like during that night I felt the uh, the temperature that was coming out of my EPX 4000 amps and uh, the the temperature was actually just on the upper end of comfortable. Uh, so that's when I decided to purchase these home. Uh, 60 quid a piece. Uh, so you've got two fans with an Iraq mount for unit. Uh, it's an IEC connection. It's basically uh, four years in height. So basically, you're doing eight years together. And when I got them, I tested them out. Obviously, they're brand new, I didn't really need to test them. But the airflow that the amp does is from the back end to the front end. That's hence why I can feel the temperature. Um, but the server cooling fans that I've got is taking air from the back, from basically from the outside. Or what was it? Yeah, taking it from the inside back out, like backwards. Where I really needed to put the air from outside into the black case, forcing the air into both my amps when if if required uh, if I needed to run another four sods on my second amp literally force it in the internal amp that the fans that the amps have got and it forces it out uh, to the front um, so I literally have to take the fans off, flip them around, put them back on. Uh, so I've got a flashback, it draws in air from outside, forces in, literally forces the air into the amp and out. Um, that's why you've probably seen uh, some holes on both sides of my wooden flight case is to help the air again being drawn in from the sides and sit the back which is an idea and um, so it's obviously with all the wiring not much space in the flight case I needed to have these server uh, cooling pads for two of my amps the other amps are fine because they're, they're D-class no transformers or no heat sinks and stuff like that so they're, they're not a problem it's the EPX 4000 amps that I have that do have the heat sinks that do have the transformers which require that extra cooling so it's yes it's extra weight which I don't need but it's there to really to help cool the fans down if I didn't. Uh, just continue forcing it time and time again and it'll shut down. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to have a look at my fire case, you're very welcome to. Just comment down below if you really want to see inside it. Um, so yeah, give, it, give me the thumbs up, comment down below subscribe do what you have to do help me out help my channel out and I hope to basically see you next time so take care of yourselves hope you enjoyed this video okay goodbye one little thing you're probably thinking right now have you ever thought 
cart to distribute power to all these devices. Dirt. Basically there. Down here to my amps down there as well. Well, I can tell you now that uh, the first point of contact is this power strip. Right? It's only a six gang, and I've got more than six devices within this flight case. Okay? One of these plugs actually goes down to this eight gang light switchboard. So everything is kept on. Literally, that's off. That's on. So everything is being is left on. So when I plug in on the side here, turn on these fans that I talked to, talked about earlier, turn on. So they're ready to go. And then when I plug everything on top, so like my laptops, controllers, hard drives, everything, even other cables that I have in there, they'll go into this. Then uh, I can start thinking about turning all those devices on. On the only the adequate devices that I want to use on the night. Remember I said to you about cables and not much room? Well, here we go. Power cables, audio cables, you name it. It's all in here. All crammed. That's why I only have cooling for those two amps down there. There's one, there's two. So yeah, it's all good fun. Also, remember what I said to you about when when I first turned power on. Okay, so there's my speak on connection. So plug in, everything turns on, and the fan. They're the first two devices, other than my soundboard, that turn on first direct when I actually turn the power on. Yeah? Sorted.